What's up guys, Gary here with self.dev. Today we are gonna learn how to install Kali Linux on a virtual machine. I'm gonna have all the links you need in the description if you can't read the links up here or if you just wanna click those to get to it faster. So anyway, first step, we're gonna go ahead and download our virtual machine. If you've already got a different one installed, you can go ahead and skip this step. I'll have a timestamp in the description to where we get to the Kali Linux part. But otherwise, we're gonna go to Oracle to download Oracle's VM. Uh, if you click the link in the description, it'll bring you to a page just like this. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna click on the Windows installer here, and that'll download it for me. If you have Mac, just, I'm not sure if this will work the same for Mac, but it might, so hey, go ahead and try it. Um, once that's installed, or once that's downloaded, just click on the file we downloaded. It'll launch the installation wizard and you can basically just continually click on next, yes, and then when you get to this page, it's ready to install. Click on install, and that'll install it for you. I'm not gonna do that, because I've already got it installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this, and close that. Then next, we're gonna go to kali.org slash downloads, or just kali.org, um, and then we'll go to downloads, download Kali Linux, and it'll bring you to a page just like this. And this is where we're gonna download our Kali Linux image. I'm on Windows and I've got a 64-bit operating system, so I'm gonna do the top one here. If you need to check, just go down here to your search bar, type in about, should bring up about your PC. And then right here, you can see whether you're at a 64-bit operating system or a 32-bit. But anyway, you'll just click on HTTP to start the download. It's about 3.1 gigabytes, so a little big. Uh, might take a minute or two, so I've already got it downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that, cancel that download. But once you've got it downloaded, it should just be in your downloads folder. So we'll go to our Oracle VM, open that up. Up here, we're gonna click on new and then for name, we can just name this Kali Linux. And this will automatically switch to Linux for us because it is smart and reads what we're typing. But in the version, we're gonna switch that to other Linux because they don't have Kali Linux on here. We'll click on next. And this is where you allocate how much RAM you want it to have. Um, just make sure you stay out of the orange and the red, otherwise you might have some performance issues. I'm gonna give it like right there and then if you want to make a hard disk for it you can create a virtual hard disk I don't so I'm just gonna go do the top option here click on create click on continue and then it's got our little virtual machine built now we basically put in a CD so we're gonna to go to storage right here which says optical drive empty click on that click on choose disk image uh, if you're not already in your downloads folder, just go to downloads and it should have your Kali Linux image just sitting here. So double click on that and that'll basically put the CD in for us. And then we'll click on start. And this will start the VM. So we'll give it a sec here. There we go, we got Kali. So I'll just go boot up in the live. Just press enter. And then this is Kali basically starting up for us here. When you click inside the box, it'll take control of your mouse. So you won't be able to move your mouse outside of the box to like release your mouse. All you have to do is press the right control key and then that'll free your mouse again. And then we'll just give it another minute here as it finishes getting Cali going for us. There we go, and we have Cali Linux. Now to change the resolution, because it's a little small, if you click on the down arrow in the top right here, whoop. there we go. And then click on the gear icon, or not the gear, uh, the wrench and screwdriver, I guess. Then this options menu should come up. We'll just go down to the bottom, go to devices, and it should have displays here. 
from the resolution, you can change that to whatever re resolution you want. Uh, I'm gonna go with like the 1280 by 1024, just hit apply, and then you can click keep changes. And then we'll extend that a little bit, make that full screen. And then we are good to go. We've got Kali installed. If you want, you go to the terminal. Let's do apt dash git update. And make sure it's up to date. I mean, we just downloaded it, so it should be pretty close. But hey, that's how you get Kali Linux installed in a virtual machine. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the description below. Um, not, not the description, the comments below. We have Discord. If you want to come hang out in the Discord, I'll post a link in the, in the, in the description as well. And I will see you next time. Peace.